Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carissa. I do different types of lifestyle videos, home, home decor. So if that's something that you guys like, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below and click that little notification bell. This way you don't miss out on any other future videos that I do. For today, I am sharing my first ever try on haul versus just showing you guys the pieces that I picked up. I figured I would try each of them on for you. This way you can see how they wear on the body, how they fit. I know those are super helpful to me. Someone that doesn't really get a chance to go out to the stores as easily going online shopping. If I can see it on someone else and how it fits, it really makes me feel more confident in purchasing the actual item online. So I will have everything linked down in the description bar down below for you guys. I'm going to try my best to place an order based on how I try it on. This way it's easier for you guys to look through if you're interested in a particular article of clothing. I have clothing, I have some accessories, and then a couple of pairs of shoes. There are tons and tons of 4th of July sales going on right now, so I really wanted to make sure I shared this with you guys. This way you can take advantage of all the sales going on. I didn't go, at least for me, I don't think I went too crazy because everything was so affordable. I got a good amount of pieces, but I didn't spend so much because I'm actually saving up for the Nordstrom sale that's coming up just around the corner. So I'll definitely be sharing that with you guys as well. You could stay tuned for what I pick up during the big Nordstrom sale. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first piece I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is this pair of shorts. They are my absolute favorite pair of denim shorts. They're extremely hard to find, something I wanna say that looks cute, but it's still comfortable. And best of all, high-waisted. I am totally obsessed with high-waisted right now. Perfect type of light wash. I don't have any type of jean in this color, so when I saw it, I knew I had to pick them up. And they have all this distressed detailing ripped on the bottom. That's kind of the style that I like to wear versus just like a basic type of jean. This is just what the back looks like. They did make it a little bit longer. This way it covers your butt cheeks. <laughs> And like I said, they're high-waisted, so it's perfect for those of you that just aren't too comfortable like in your midriff area or if you're a mama like me. I wear everything high-waisted because I am not comfortable and it doesn't suit my body type best anymore wearing low-rise. Tons of different colors, so if this isn't up your alley, this color, if you want something that's not as distressed, they definitely have that option. These I got on sale for only, I believe, $29. So the next item that I got was actually a crop top. And same thing, if you feel like you have a troubled midriff area may feel like crop tops aren't for you but it all comes down to how you style it so of course I'm gonna be showing you what I pair this with high waist once again is gonna be your best friend and this one I just fell in love with because it has the yellow the blue and the red it's off the shoulder so I feel like that's a really flattering look that's trending right now and it has this ribbed type of ruching material so same thing just similar to what I'm kind of wearing it just grabs and hugs onto the body. So it's super comfortable, it's nice and lightweight, and you can pair with pretty much anything due to the colors that it has in it. Then for dresses, I tend to wear dresses a lot in the summertime just because they're an easy, quick outfit. You usually feel cool and not as hot in them. So this one is this gorgeous gangnam print. This is so on trend right now, and you can't go wrong with like a classic black and white. If it's really pretty on the sleeves, like a flutter type of sleeve, it is a v-neck. So if you're someone that is comfortable showing more of your bust or you have a larger bust that you like to show off, then you could wear it just like that. For me, I personally like to wear little bandeau tops or a little tankini underneath. This way it covers the breast area a little bit more and I have a little more coverage. And then it has this tie that cinches right at the waist, same thing. If you do it a little tighter, it makes the illusion of basically making your hips look smaller. So that really flatters the body. And then at the very bottom, it just has like this type of like little frilling and details like that. So this is a super comfortable option. This was the only piece in my whole haul that was a bit over $50. Next on to a couple of basics. I am one that totally loves wearing basics. I actually placed a large order on Abercrombie. Unfortunately, they canceled my order because they said some of the items are out of stock. So I was so bummed about that. So what I decided to do was go actually to American Eagle because they were having lots of sales for like the American Eagle and Ari collection. So I picked up these basic sweaters. These you can purchase in larger sizes if you wanna kinda of have it like off the shoulder on one side. That's a really pretty look. For me, I just ordered these in two different colors. So these on me, they are oversized. I do like that look. You could pull up the sleeves if you want to, wear them sleeves up, it's a little bit warmer outside. Or in the summertime, I tend to love wearing these at nighttime. 
I'll basically be at the beach or the pool all day and then I want to put on a comfortable outfit to go walking around, go for ice cream, anything like that. And these are perfect for that. I picked it up in actually two colors. So this is just what the green shade looks like. This looks really, really nice if you have a tan. And then it just has like this basic detailing. And at the bottom, it's almost like someone took a scissor and cut off the bottom. So that tends... So that look tends to be really in right now. They fit really well, and I feel like they will be durable and like last in the wash. And they only came out to, I want to say, about like $17 or $18. I also picked one up in white. I've been totally obsessed with white for the summertime. And this is the exact same style if you wear them with high-waisted jeans. They're even not so cropped where if you did wear them with low-rise, they would look really cute. And then this has, like I said, the exact same pattern and details as the green one, but this is just in the white color. Now on to swimwear. Swimwear is definitely something that I have to get comfortable in wearing, and I try out of swimwear to just kind of feel confident in a bathing suit. I definitely won't be the girl that's wearing a bikini these days. If I do wear a bikini, they're definitely going to be high-waisted, so thank goodness that is so on trend right now because it helps us mamas out. But I will have to say that this season they came out with some really cute one-pieces. So I picked up two new one-pieces for myself. One of them, of course, in white because, like I said, it just really makes your tan pop. It has these really pretty details. It has this really pretty button detailing right on the breast area in the front. And then for the back, I will say it's a little bit of like a cheeky bottom. So if you're not comfortable showing a little more of your backside, then this swimsuit may not be the one for you. But this one was under $20. And I'm telling you guys, it looks trendy. It looks cute. It doesn't look like what I call them is like a mom bathing suit. And I love, once again, it has the ribbing detailing. So that is not going to get see-through like when you go in the water. It does have like little insertable lined cups in here. Next one I picked up, yellow is totally on trend as well. So I found this gorgeous yellow bathing suit. In the back of it, it looks almost like it's a two-piece, which is really cool. And then when you look at it from the front, it has like this knot detailing. It's connecting the two pieces just to make it one. It's very flattering on the body. This one does cover more of the backside area, so you won't have to worry about being too showy. I feel like the two of these, they're still conservative. They make you feel good about your body, but they are still have like a little bit of like trendiness and a little bit of sexiness as well. Now we're going into the Zara clothing. So this dress I absolutely fell in love with. Zara doesn't tend to have too many sales. So when they have a sale, I definitely like to go on in there, get stuff for myself, for Mila. So for this one, it just has this gorgeous detailing. As you guys can see, it's almost like the entire dress is like that eyelet style. It once again has this front tie. Like I said, I just feel like that really is flattering to the body. So if a dress has this tie detailing, I am going to be picking it up. And then it has these gorgeous brown buttons coming down the front. This almost can look, I want to say, like a cover-up to the beach. If you want to be really fancy, you definitely can wear it for that. But for me, I'm going to be wearing it more as a dress to wear out. So what I have to do, so what I have to do is just wear something underneath. It is totally see-through, so you do have to wear like a tank top and like little shorts, new shorts, a little leotard, something underneath. So you are, of course, covered in your private areas. <laughs> This one was normally $70 and I got it on sale for $45. Normally for the summertime I don't pick up pants, but I absolutely fell in love with these. They're this gorgeous emerald green, so the color alone made me fall in love with it. And then they are high-waisted. At the very top they have this paper bag style and then the tying as well. So they're a stretchy material, they're super comfortable, and then they're a slightly cropped, I wanna say, at the bottom. You can wear these in the summer, the fall, the winter, all seasons long, so this is definitely a great staple piece to have. This one I got for only $25. Going back to, like I said, of me liking to wear lots of basics, I wanted to pick up another basic t-shirt in, of course, some white, but this one has a little spin on a basic t-shirt. Sometimes those can get a little boring just wearing the same bland shirt all the time. You want to have a little bit of a style in your collection. This has this gorgeous detailing on the sleeves. It's just embroidered on there. So the entire shirt is still white. It's not going to be anything too flashy or too dramatic. But just looking at these sleeves and the fact that it's also cropped, it's like a, I want to say it's like a longer style of a crop tee. So you could wear it with a pair of shorts, you could wear it with leggings, pretty much anything that you have already just to kind of jazz up a look and put a spin on a basic t-shirt. Then the last piece that I picked up from Zara I fell in love with and this was actually in the girl section. So this is a size, let's see, this one's a size 14 girls. 
but I couldn't pass it up and it did fit me so it was a win for me and as you guys see it has a whole entire sequin snow white on it we're hoping to go to Disney this summer so if we do I feel like figured this would be the perfect thing to put on at nighttime when it's getting a little bit chillier put it has a little hoodie on it down here at the lower end it has like this little scrunching detailing so it comes a little more cinched on the waist and it's white and like I said you just can't go wrong with this gorgeous type of sweater and I got it for only let's see it was normally $30 I got it for only $17 and then the final outfit I actually ran out of hangers <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys like this it's these shorts that just like I said how I'm loving those pants that I got from Zara that were high-waisted and had the paperback style these also have that paperback style they're also high-waisted but they're shorts and same thing with that whole gangnam print going on. This one is actually red and white. So this may be something I could wear actually on 4th of July. They're not too short. They're like the perfect length. They're more loose fitting, not anything snug. So you're going to be super comfortable. And then I picked up another one of those crop tops, but in red. And this one just can be paired with these shorts to make a really cute, like simple 4th of July look that you know you're going to be comfortable in. And this one fits exactly as the white one with multicolored stripes on it. I want to say this one is just slightly longer on the midriff area if you don't want such a crop. This would definitely be a good option for you. So now I'm going to go in with accessories, so like shoes and earrings. I showed you guys in the clips just kind of little close-ups of what the actual details look like. So I'm just going to be showing you here what they are. The first thing are these pair of sandals that I absolutely fell in love with. They're this denim type of shade. And as you can see here, I'll just come a little closer so you can see the detailing on them. They slip right on. So they're like a spin on your basic slide. They are closed toe, which I appreciate because if I want to wear them like in the fall still, I definitely can. They're super easy to put on. I love the tie knot bow detailing on them. That's mainly what made me fall in love with them. And then, of course, because they're espaladillas on the bottom, that, of course, is perfect for summertime. Target was having a buy one, get one 50% off BOGO sale on their shoes, so I decided to get two pairs, so I picked these up. And then the second pair that I picked up during that Target sale were these little heels. I am not really a heels kind of girl, they're just really uncomfortable for me, but these were a good block heel. They're not too tall, they're not too short, and I have worn them already on vacation quite a lot, and they're super comfortable. They're this gorgeous like periwinkle shade, so I feel like they can go with a lot of these looks and it just goes well with any type of summer outfit that I will be wearing. So comfort and style you're definitely going to find in these shoes. And they have different colors as well. I believe they have black, blush, and maybe one more other shade. And then finally that I wear on a daily basis, same like Mila, are our Mila and Mason sandals. These go with everything. They're super comfortable. The rubber dye sole. I tend to gravitate more towards the silver ones lately just because, come on, look how sparkly they are. Who doesn't love a sparkle? So these with like, let's say that snow white hoodie or the white dress, anything like that, they will go perfectly with that. I will have a coupon code down below for you guys if you want to purchase something from my shop, Mila and Mason. For accessories, I've been totally obsessed with these tassel detail earrings. They've been so on trend all over the place, but they can get quite expensive, I will say, if you shop for them like in big department stores. So these I also picked up at Target, and these are the black ones. I figured I would get two pairs. The black ones have like this detailing here where it has, it has like this gold and little details here to make it a little bit fancier. And then I also picked up a pair in white, of course, since you guys see I have tons of white. I figure when I'm wearing maybe a color, I can bring in a little bit of white, similar to let's say like an outfit that I'm wearing today. These look really cute. And these are just a more simple tassel. They don't have any detailings at the top like the black ones do. And these were, I don't have the price of the white ones anymore because I have worn them, but the black ones are only $12.99. And the final accessory that I have, of course, is a pair of sunglasses. I'm totally sunglass obsessed, so every year I pick up at least one new pair of sunglasses, but I don't like to spend a ton of money because, like I said, since I do love getting lots of sunglasses, I can't spend that much just on one pair, especially because I know I'm just going to get sick of wearing that same set. So these I picked up for only $14.99. They are this, like, gold type of detailing, if you can see there. They're mirrored so they reflect anything that you, of course, look at. And these will just go perfect. It's a classic aviator that's going to go perfect with everything. If gold isn't your cup of tea, they also have them in white. 
And for $14.99, you really can't go wrong. These are the perfect everyday sunglass that you can wear anywhere with anything. And if you lose them, if you break them, you don't have to worry. So that was everything, guys, for my try-on haul for summer 2018. I hope you enjoyed, and like I said, stay tuned for the Nordstrom sale because I will be sharing some of the things that I pick up to complete anything that I need for this season. And I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye!